first thing I always ask my clients to do is create piles. Pile one, create a pile of items that you love and that you wear often and take those physically out of the closet and put them in a pile. Once you've done that, I want you to look at what's left in your closet. What don't you love but you hold on to because you're waiting for the day you either gain some weight, lose some weight, maybe you get invited somewhere and you think you're gonna be able to wear it, grab those items and put them in another pile. Now what's left? Are these the pieces that you've been holding on to for sentimental reasons? Items that you really wanna wear but you just don't feel good in? Take those and put them in another pile. Three steps. Now, go through the first pile of things that you said you love and you wear all the time and put them on or find photos of you wearing them and try to remember how did you really feel when you wore those? Was it itchy? Were you thinking like, I need a new piece? Or were you just kind of feeling like blah, you put it on because you just know that it's safe? One, if there was a reason for uncomfort, pick that piece up and put it back in the pile of things you don't like. Two, if it's an item that you're like, I really need to replace it, also pick that up and put it in the pile, but write a note on your phone, replace white t-shirt. And then it's replaced and that's going on the shopping list for later because you always need one of those. And then if you're looking at photos and you're like, dang, I felt good in that, hang it up and put it back in your closet. So now you've gone through the pieces that you thought you loved and you realize that you may be just grabbing them out of comfort or because you feel safe in them. So it's gonna allow you to really reevaluate. And now you've got the pieces you really, really love. So this pile that's left in this pile of like the I thought I love, the joy pile, it's time to get rid of those pieces. Now we're going to the pieces that we kept because of sentimental reasons or hoping that we're gonna lose some weight or gain some weight or find a place to wear those pieces. I want you to take them and put them on and look in the mirror and see how you feel. Do you feel confident? Do you feel beautiful? Do you feel comfortable? If you feel like those check the boxes, then you can keep them. But if you feel not 100% like a heck yes, it's time to donate or consign those pieces. These are questions that you really need to ask yourself and you need to be totally honest with yourself. Don't think about, oh my gosh, I spent so much money on that piece, like what do I do with it? I need to find a way to wear it. Consign it. If you don't feel good in it, somebody else will. And you can make money. It may not necessarily be the money that you invested in it, but that's why you're gonna watch my series on intentional shopping for the next time. But really recognize, how does it make me feel? We need to get rid of it so that when you open your closet, you have the key pieces that make you feel good, confident, beautiful, comfortable, and those are the pieces you're gonna work with. Now, you've gotten rid of the quote unquote reject pile. I want you to look at the pieces that are left. Are these key pieces or are they pieces that you love that you can find ways to style? I always love creating new outfits for my clients. And I understand that can be a struggle for some people. So just go through the pieces and try to create different outfits with the pieces you have. Step outside of your comfort zone. Go to my Instagram page for some inspo or my Pinterest board for some inspo on how to style some pieces that you may have in your closet. And take pictures in the mirrors of the different ways you're wearing these outfits so that you have a style reference Bible to go back onto another day when you're in a rut and you don't know how to wear the outfit. Go back to looking at the ways that you wore those outfits. Another thing I really want you to do is be totally, totally honest with yourself with the quality of things. Like, do you have armpit stains in it? Is it frayed? Is it worn? Is it sheer because you've worn it so much? If it is, that's going into the replace pile. Note on your phone, replacing, especially if you wear it often, and let's get rid of it so you have fresh in your closet, fresh pieces because you're gonna feel better with those pieces and you're gonna grab them more often than not. These are some really, really great ways that you can purge your closet on your own. Make sure you've got some garbage bags handy so you can stuff them in the bag. Make sure they're black so you don't see what's going in there. It's a psychological thing. And once they're in, tie it up, have a donate pile and a consign pile 
take to a woman's shelter in need, and then take the pieces you want to consign to the consignment store and get them out of your house ASAP because I guarantee the next day or in like the next week when you're trying to get dressed, you're going to be like, I need that piece and you're going to go back through the bag and you may grab it again and it's going to go back in your closet. So stay true to the decisions that you're making when it comes to purging your closet. Another thing I really recommend is having cohesive hangers. Allowing yourself with this cohesiveness is going to find that joy when you open your closet and you see everything's cohesive on the same hangers. You don't have three things on a dry cleaning hanger, three things on a wood hanger, and then some random hangers in between. Find that cohesiveness and invest in some hangers. They're not very expensive that allow that cohesiveness. It's just going to elevate that effortless, clean look in your closet, which is really good help, I promise you. Another thing I want you to do is fold your sweaters. Don't hang them. Your denim, your jeans, put those off into one section of your closet. And then I like to hang things, tank tops to short sleeves to long sleeves. So start with that with your shirts and then go white, like neutrals to dark to black to pattern. And do the same thing with your pants. Lighter shades of denim to darker denim to black to, I was gonna say graphics, but prints. So always go light to dark, short sleeve to long sleeve, and really curate that so that there is that cohesiveness in your closet as well. Go through your underwear drawer. This is a big one. I always recommend having women wear matching underwear. There's just some sort of femininity about it and it's like the first layer of clothing that you're putting on and you feel good. And having a well-fitted bra is also gonna make a difference in the way that your shirts feel. So don't forget to edit out your undergarment drawer as well. Like those old gross underwear that you save for that time of the month, get rid of them and replace them with something comfortable but still just like something that feels good. Make sure your bras fit you well. If you don't know what works or what fits you well, go to a bra store and ask them to measure you. So many women are wearing the wrong size of bras and I truly, truly, truly will tell you right now, it will change the way your clothes fit. Get yourself a good basic nude bra, a good basic black bra, like a seamless one, and then get yourself a white one and then do a black and white lace bra with matching underwear. Get the matching underwear, you guys. It is going to make the difference. But do not forget to edit out that underwear drawer because we really easily forget. So I hope these tips will help you with your own closet edit. Send me a comment and let me know what your thoughts were when you do your closet edit. Give yourself a few hours, find the joy in it, and go through pictures to really reflect on how you feel in some of these pieces.